Okay, so big question, common question. Can you erase watercolor? Or what do you do when you make a mistake? And there's a couple tricks that I wanna show you. One, using a paper towel. The second one is going to be using a dry brush. And the third is going to be a combination of the two and adding more water. Water, if my English accent wasn't, I probably butchered it. Um, so let's just kind of make a mark on the paper and I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. So let's say we're painting and we're, oops, we didn't mean to do that. <laughs> we're gonna grab a paper towel and lift it off while it's still wet. Lift it off while it's still wet. And when it dries, we can add a clean water on top of it. Even if it has a little tint of a pigment to it, that's fine. But the more water you add, the more you can lift off. You're not gonna get it to where it's completely gone. So, but just try to get it as light as possible so that you can then layer on top of it. So obviously with watercolor, they are transparent, but the darker layers you put on top will eventually get rid of that mark. Um, so that's called lifting. And lifting is super easy when you have high quality paper, like this Legion Stonehenge Aqua cold press paper. Um, cheaper papers or papers that aren't good at lifting, you're gonna struggle with getting rid of marks that you don't want. And then the second way of lifting or erasing watercolor, again, it's not gonna be a perfect erase, but it will help you if you're in the middle of this really lengthy painting and you make one tiny mistake and you're all pissed. You don't need to start over. So second one is going to be lifting with a dry brush. So I'm gonna grab a dry or just slightly damp brush and lift it off and get rid of that pigment that I'm soaking up on my brush, on my paper towel. And then same thing from over here, we can just grab clean water to lift it up more. I'm smearing it around. So now we're going into our combo of lifting with dry brush and paper towel. And that's basically mostly gone. Bye bye. So this stroke up here is a little dry on the top where I'm squiggling or running my brush over right now. But let's say I want to erase that mark or get rid of that mark. Then I'm just gonna add water and try to rub it out of the paper with water as much as I possibly can. I'm not gonna get it perfect, but at least it's gonna be really light so I can layer on top. And then I can use my paper towel and pull it up. Thanks for watching. Very quick tip on erasing watercolor. Can you erase watercolor? I mentioned this in the video itself, but it's just so important that you have good quality paper so that you can actually achieve these results with lifting and you're using more water to create, to water it down uh, and to lighten the color and lifting it with paper towel or a dry brush. If you've never seen this technique done before, you've never tried it, let me know in the comments below or if you're struggling with this technique, let me know what paper you're using or what pigment you're using that can sometimes affect the result as well. I'll see you in the next tutorial.